Hello, Nomads Cult, and from the version 177, there are absolute fantastic new mask extraction features. So, here in Nomads Cult, I'm using now the mask, and I yeah, turn the symmetry off, and I'm drawing here a mask. Here in the mask settings, you see here um, new options. Here's the edge loop functions, and here's the smoothness. And at the bottom is a, a sync border option here. So, yes. And here you find uh, in the shell thickness. Uh, here you find um, a reset to zero, then shell thickness is zero. And at the side here, you see here small icons, a small plus icon, and you can change this to minus, to plus minus here. And so let's start with this. So we choose um, a shell thickness here, value. And at the moment, we use the plus function and we press extract. So we get this. I undo the last step and I change to minus. So now when I extract it, it extracts in the opposite direction in the negative negative way and undo again and when i use plus minus then in both directions so let's see um, if it works 50 50 or Yeah, I think it's only the half of the height in, in the both directions. So, okay. Let's use only plus. And the next thing is, let's test the edge loops here. Um, edge loop is at the moment zero. And here you can increase um, the value a little bit and when you press extract you see here the edge loops on the side like this and the auto edge loop function creates more topology on the mesh okay so the next uh, checkbox is the smoothness here you can use here a smoothness value default value is 10 so let's without smoothness it's checky a checky outline and when we use the smoothness with the value of 10 then you get a such a nice sharp edge and it smoothed out okay so here are the options, all, sharp border and borders only. So here you can test it. When you extract all, you get a, a smoothed out mesh here from the mask. And with sharp border, it looks like this. And borders only, um, I think there you have to use it on a deformed mesh. I'm not sure at the moment, but here on this flat 2D plane, you can see a difference. So for carving, it's, yeah, you can test it also with the carve function. And okay, 
And the last thing I will show you is the splitting option. So we use now a sharp border and sync border is this checkbox is active. And when you split now the mesh, it splits here a very clean yeah, mask out of the mesh. So a nice thing is so sorry I changed the color. So I paint this ring here now and this is only a side information. When you use here um, these two objects and you and you want to join it here sorry I have to show it like it works this is the normal behavior of your joining function when you press join you get um, a mesh with such blurred edges so if you want to join it and keep the, the sharp edges you have to change here in the advanced settings of the import options the keep topology checkbox turn it on then your topology is not welded or merged together when you now select both meshes meshes and join them together they they are not uh, welded so when you use now the mask here you can uh, select all the separate parts and here like this it's a, a very nice thing and when you here use the separate option you get back your single objects here so okay i think these are the extract functions of the the mask yeah that's all have fun with sculpting ciao